Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how I created this makeup look using the new Lime Life by Alcone Spring Palette. Check it out, Look, some fun colors in there. I'm also gonna show you guys how I use the new moisturizing body bronzing lotion from Lime Life that was just launched this spring in a makeup look. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this, stay tuned for the rest of the video. Okay, so I really wanted to do a look using the new Spring Collection palette. This really pretty purple color and probably a couple of these highlight shades. And one of the Perfect Glow Moisturizing Body Lotion. So all of these have a different sheen to them. This one is rose gold, this one is bronze, and this one is gold. So I'll do a quick swatch of each for you guys and then we're gonna use one for our makeup look today. Okay, so there's rose gold. There's bronze, and there is gold. So just by looking at them, suggesting what colors would be best um, for each person, I would suggest this one for darker skin tones, just upon first impressions. I would suggest this one for cooler, fair skin tones, and this one for warmer, fair skin tones. Okay, so I am going to go in with the rose gold and I'm not gonna use very much because you don't want too much product on because that just creates a cakey mess. But what this is going to do is just give us kind of like a nice glow from within underneath our foundation. So after I have that, I'm going to apply my first base makeup primer spray. So I always apply all my skincare that I'm gonna put on underneath my makeup, then put my primer spray on over top of that, then foundation. And since I want a little bit of that shimmery glitter to show through. What I'm going to do is use my number 17 brush because I can apply a sheer coverage with my brush than with the blender full. Also, I'm going to take and warm it up on the back of my hand because it's a wax base. This is gonna make it more pliable and this is also a great way to not over apply this foundation. So when you use this Lime Life brand foundation, you sort of have to unteach yourself all your old ways of thinking for foundation. Less is always more with this foundation. And if you need to build, build in layers, not all caked on at once. Okay, so warmed up, then I'm just going to dot this all over. And then you can just go like this and dot it all over so that it's all kind of dispersed evenly around your face. Or you can just take and swirl a little bit into the 17 brush just on the tips of the hairs and just buff that in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay. So if this is your first time using Lime Life by Alcone Foundation, I can pretty much guarantee that you're gonna put too much on. I was there, been there, done that, but you guys will definitely get used to it once you start playing around with it. So once you have your foundation all on, if you see any kind of areas on your face that are needing just a little bit of additional attention, that is where your concealers come into play. So I'm just gonna go in with my finger because this is my own palette, and I'm just going to, this kind of warms it up. If you dot it on with your finger, Alternately, you can use a little stippling brush that is similar to the number 17 brush, just a little smaller for precise placement and just buff out the edges. Um, you can take this brush and just sort of lighten under the eyes. Around your nose, sometimes those areas get a little bit red. And then I like to apply some of my Very Light Highlighter Concealer to my eyelids, just for a nice starting base for our eyeshadows. Also, um, this will just get rid of any veins and things like that in your eyelid and um, give the eyeshadow something to grab onto. And it's also very important to put the least amount of product possible in areas that are prone to creasing, like right here on your eyelid, um, where your eyelid crease is, forehead lines. If you have forehead lines, you might want to go and just take extra care to buff those out. Um, down here in your marionette lines. Is that what they're called? That doesn't sound right. These lines. <laughs> your smile lines. <laughs> I'm going to take my number one brush and some setting powder. 
and very lightly, no baking here, set those areas that are prone to creasing so that our foundation doesn't shift around and cause that creasing. Okay, next I'm just going to go in with shade 26. It's just a really nice beigey. This is also good for people with blonde eyebrow hairs for your, um, as an eyebrow shade, so shade 26. I'm just going to warm that up a little bit with this uh, pure marigold color. Okay, then we're going to go in with this Forget Me Not purple shade and we're just going to apply that with our finger onto our eyelid. And then I'm just going to buff it into that orange shade. And then I'm going to take a mixture of Budding Romance and Whoopsie Daisy. This one is sort of like a cooler highlight and this is a warmer gold highlight with my finger. And blend that out. I'm going to take a bit of that purple and just buff it down here. Then I'm going to go in with our new pencil gel liners and I'm just going to tight line the top and bottom waterline. Okay, so next I'm taking my Voluminous, L'Oreal Voluminous Original in the color N801. Okay, and I usually toss on about three coats of mascara and then I did not curl my lashes because I'm planning on putting on fake lashes, but if you were doing this look with just your own lashes, you could take your curler and just curl those, put a super thin layer of mascara on, let it dry, and then go on with subsequent layers and that will help keep the curl of your lash curler. Okay, so then once you have your eyebrows on, if you guys have not seen my eyebrow tutorial, I will link it right here. You guys can check that out after the video. We're going to get into the face. I'm going to be using the contour shade from Lime Life in the color number three and brush number three. And then I'm going to go in with blush color number four, and this is sort of like the dupe to NARS Orgasm. Now we will go ahead and set this all in place. So if you guys are wearing something with a thicker band like mine, these are the Lily Lashes in the style Miami. They do have a bit of a thicker band. So if you have, if you can see, since we just did a tight line instead of like a full above the lash line eyeliner, you can just take your pencil in again and just in this inner corner here, go and tight line that a bit higher. And that will help just blend out that lash band. But if you're wearing something like a little more natural, like the Demi Wispies or the Wispies by Ardell, those have super thin bands. So those are very, very easy to wear with an eye look like this with um, just a tight lined eyeliner. Now we need to highlight. I'm gonna go in with my number 18 brush. First, I'm just gonna try this Budding Romance. And that just makes it like a nice, pink, baby, pinky, champagne kind of highlight, which goes really nicely with the purple eyeshadow. Now we just need a lip color. I know what color is gonna look really awesome with this eyeshadow look because it's kind of cool. 
I'm just gonna spray that highlight in place. I was going to use the oh so popular ruby, ruby chocolate, but I think I'm going to go ahead and apply this macaroon shade instead. Okay, and I just overlined my lips ever so slightly. If you guys are into this kind of like a depth of a lip color, I think that that goes really well because it's kind of in between the coolness of the purple and the warmth of the orange. So this shade's very neutral, but I want to just make this a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna go in with my foundation. And that sort of gives you this little pout. It makes your lips look a little bit bigger. I think that that shade goes really well with the eyeshadow color. I'm loving that. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair and I'll be right back to show you the finished look. Before I go, do you know what I wanna do? I'm gonna toss some of this rose gold body lotion. I'm going to toss some of that on my lips. Okay, so that's gonna give our lips some hydration plus a little bit of a sheen. Anyways, I will be back with the finished hair, makeup, everything. So here's the finished look with my hair all done. What do you guys think? If you guys haven't seen my messy curls tutorial, make sure you guys check that out right here. Follow some more eyeshadow videos over here. If you guys haven't clicked to subscribe, click my face right here. I upload new videos every week and I hope to see you guys in the next one. See you guys.